Harihara or Harisvara Kannada, Harihara was a noted Kannada poet and writer in the 12th century. A native of Halebidu in modern Hassan district, he came from a family of accountants and initially served in that capacity in the court of Hoysala King Narasimha I r. 1152 CE. Later, he moved to Hampi and authored many landmark classics. Among his important writings, the Garijakalyana written in Shampu meter mixed prose verse is considered one of the enduring classics of Kannada language. Topic: <laughs> Famous writings. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Magnum opus. Harihara, although one of the earliest Virashaiva writers, was not part of the famous Vachana literary tradition. He wrote under the patronage of King Narasimha I. He wrote his magnum opus, the Garijakalyana, Marriage of the Mountain Born Goddess, in the Kalidasa tradition, though employing the old Jain Shampu style, with the story leading to the marriage of God Shiva and his consort Parvati in ten sections. Harihara brings out his ability for narration while describing the lamentation of Rati for Kama, and the intense love and devotion of Parvati for Shiva. Though known for his magnum opus, his poetic talent found complete expression in his lyrical and narrative Rigali poems. It was Harihara who popularized the Rigali couplets in blank verse, a meter native to Kannada language. In a deviation from the norm of the day, Harihara avoided glorifying famous mortals and continued the Jain tradition of glorifying the spirit and the conquest of evil within oneself. So against eulogizing earthly mortals was Harihara. Legend has it that he physically abused his protege Raghavanka for writing about King Harishchandra in the work Harishchandra Kavya c. 1200. Other poetic works Shivaganada Rigali Harihara is credited with a collection of more than 100 poems in the Rigali meter called the Nambianana Rigali also called Shivaganata Rigali or Saranacharitamanasa the holy lake of the lives of the devotees c 1160 after the saint Nambiana. in this writing which is a eulogy of the 63 saints of early Shaivism devotion to god Shiva of the later social reformers such as Basavana Alama Prabhu and Akka Mahadevi and of god Virapaksha a form of Hindu god Shiva Harihara express emotions as few poets could referenced in this writing is the Tamil epic Pariyapuranam Basavarajadevara Rigali another important writing though partially available in the Rigali meter is the Basavarajadevara Rigali it is on the life of Basavanda emphasizing the protagonist's compassion for devotees of the god Shiva. This work is the earliest biography of Basavanda from which 13 out of 25 sections are available and are considered important because the author was a near contemporary of his protagonist and set the trend for future biographers. Harihara thus became the earliest poetic biographer in the Kannada language. Interesting details of Basavanna's life are narrated by Harihara, some of which contradict commonly held beliefs. The author, who does not appear to be personally acquainted with his protagonist, mixed facts with some mythological details. While popular theory holds that Basavanna left his native place over a difference of opinion with his father regarding the Brahmanical initiation ritual the sacred thread ceremony. Harihara's account states Basavanna lost his parents early in life and was cared for by his grandmother. Later he discarded his thread and left for Sangama, indicating he was already initiated. Regarding Basavanna's employment under King Bayala II, while popular theory holds that Basavanna succeeded his deceased maternal uncle whose daughter he was married to as the treasurer of the king, according to Harihara, Basavanna's introduction to the king was made by the incumbent treasurer Siddhandadhisa, whom he later succeeded to the post, Mudijia Ashtaka. Mudijia Ashtaka is an important Ashtaka poem an eight-line verse meter by Harihara. Legend has it that once when Harihara bowed down in prayer to his god Shiva, the Rudraksha flowers in his headgear a mudage fell on the floor. Seeing this, the devotees who had gathered there derided Harihara for wearing the headgear. In response, Harihara composed the Ashtaka extempore in honor of his deity and included a challenging phrase. I have laid the mudage on the floor, let me see who can pick it up." Other writings 
Harihara's other works include Pushpa Rigali, Marichanana Rigali, and Pampa Sataka, written in the Shataka meter comprising a string of 100 verses, in praise of the god Virapaksha of Hampi. For his poetic talent, he has earned the honorific Poet of Exuberance, Utsava Kavi. <laughs> <laughs> Notes